Testing one, two, one, two. Welcome back, guys. I was just about to explain why I just did that because a couple of nights ago I did um, seed sown in the house because it's been very, very cold outside. I got Roy to bring up the compost and have it in the downstairs bathroom, which is cold, but rather than have it outside because I don't want to start sowing seeds in very, very cold, icy um, compost. So we're inside, outside bathroom. If you can see this tin foil here behind you, it is actually two back to back, two small staging areas that was uh, inside the plastic greenhouses that are now no longer with us. And instead of throwing them out, we've got little grow lights in there and we've got some plants on the back that I can't actually get into at the minute. And I did a video a couple of nights ago, half of it was on camera and then when I went to check it to edit it etc then the other half was no longer there because the camera had died. I'm feeling not too bad today as well guys so fingers crossed it continues but I'm having 48 hours of nothing to eat so if you hear my stomach rumbling away then that's why. Nothing but clear liquids and cabbage water. Not another thing in my fizzle but I wrap it on and uh, I've got to cut half it out. Yesterday's video was 40 minutes long and I had to cut most of it out to get a 15 minute video. And this time of the year, guys, bathroom windowsill is also full of seed. I think we've got rocket and coriander, which should or could go outside at the moment in the veg truck. So I'll be using every single bit of plastic container that I've got until, as I said, they just fall to bits and the, I can no longer use them. And then hopefully we can go into some kind of paper stuff, cardboard stuff and egg box. Get the sleeves rolled up. So me doing some seed sewing today upstairs um, in the house. I've just not got the facilities to get the sieve out and sieve all the compost. So I'm just going to have to pick out wee bits and bobs. But they should be alright for starting off certain seeds. But when it comes to your carrots, then... I'm afraid not, oh, they'll be done outside where everything is sieved to make it as fine as possible. Cauliflower Autumn Giant 4. I do have cauliflower all year round, cauliflower that I sown the other night, but I think I'm lucky if I've got four that's come up out of about 20 seeds that I'd sown. So I'm going to give this a bash, I don't do too well with cauliflower, but we'll see how we go on with that as well. Nasturtiums, the red Spitfire ones. I'll try and get some of them in today. If not, I'll do half today and then I'll do half in another video. These are random tomato seeds down here. These are tomato seeds saved again, large and either yellow, green or lemon I've put. So it must have been a big, uh, it must have been a mixed box that I bought. And took some seeds out of all of them. And leave the tomatoes for another day because I have already started the tomatoes. So I'll show you that in two seconds if you just let me get you turn round. You've got three sets of lights on here and one set is not on. I'll just turn that back on. There we go. Right, we've got a couple of tomatoes in there. So we've got two pots of broccoli that I started off. This was all, as I said, was meant to be done on camera the other night. We do have round green courgettes there's no name oh yes there is pepo they're called pepo round courgettes and these are the only courgettes that i've got that it says that you can actually start them off now i thought it was a bit early but i've stuck about six seeds in there and we'll see how we go on with them up the back i don't know if you can see guys can you see wait till i bring you in a wee bit wait till i bring you in a wee bit Oh, he's moving all over the place. Right, let's see. In here, I think this is our tomatoes, etc. that we did. So we've got marmond up the back, two marmond, and we have red pear, two red pear with about five seeds in each. Oh, sorry. We have cayenne chilies. We have rose de berm, which is a tomato. We have large orange oblong tomatoes which are in two tubs also and each have got five seeds in them the thing that's really annoyed me this year is i am very very late guys with getting 
chilli seeds in. I usually start them off in November and just with no feeling too well, then they just went behind. I don't know what type of chilli this is, but I've got two and there were tiny wee seeds up to about here, I think, round about Christmas. And then since Roy's put this up and we've got three wee cheap grow lights, we're actually seeing, I don't know, there's one, that's a better one. We're actually seeing wee buds, actually seeing wee chillies coming since we put that in there. So the wee cheap grow lights are definitely helping, but there's two plants in there. We can get up the back, guys. Let me see if I can squeeze this one out because this is touching the top. These are Aztec chillies. So I've got three of them. I did have four over winter in, in the bathroom. And as you can see here, we lost one. But as you can see here, there's another wee flower coming on here. Whether that just now is going to come to anything, I don't know. But we've got wee flowers, I don't know if you can see them in here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. And this is banana peppers, red and yellow, with its own wee kind of greenhouse, because you know, your chillies and your peppers like a wee bit of warmth. I'll move you down here. We've got Aztec chillies in here. We have chilli seeds with no name in here. We've got sweet red peppers there. We've got yellow peppers there. We've got two rows of jalapenos. We've got chilli seeds there. I don't know the variety. And we've got Aztec chillies there. And I'll be back in a minute. Right, because we'll just pop into the bathroom. And I'll show you what we've got in here. So, quite uh, sporadic. But never mind, we do have some rockets. I'll just take them off the window just now, but you see what I mean with the, the egg boxes, they do go a wee bit kind of floppy with getting watered, but they're doing all right, those ones. So I, I think they'll be ready for getting pricked out within the next couple of days and get them outside. And we'll move round to the window. This is uh, the all year round cauliflower, as you can see, a wee bit leggy, but that was absolutely covered. And we've got one, two, three, four. Another one just popping up. So they're not doing too well. Excuse the makeup. And over here, we do have our coriander, which is doing a lot better. So those wee clumps shall indeed be getting as they are. Another couple coming up there. So I'm pretty pleased with the coriander. Down here we did have the Lisbon. I've written on the boxes, but as you can see, that's about four days, I think. We're having a couple in there, and we only have one or two popping up there, whether they're just a wee bit slow up to germinate. If I move Daniel's big plant out of the way, as I've written on these boxes, but there are, oh, maybe faulty bits. Hang on a minute, guys. Where have I written? I'm sure it's red Lisbon spring onions that's in here. I'll let you know at a later date. But this is a video that I was doing. These are the seeds that I was videoing the other night, which did not come to anything because the battery had run out, as I said. Back outside, and this is the setup. There's the compost here. There's some of the trays. They will all be going today's seeds in the plastic tray, so we better get started so that I can uh, get all this done in under 15 minutes. As I said, I think I'll do the rest of the tomatoes maybe tomorrow. You'll have to excuse because this is where the cats all play and they sleep. And I think Missy Fat Cat's over there just now, yeah. Hey, welcome back, Petal Flowers, and what I've done, it's not very comfortable in the house, honestly. I've got cramp already. Just to save another wee bit of time, I have done these trays and marked them with the tape round the bottom as to what I'm going to be popping in here. So that's that tray. And we'll get this tray here out of the way as well. And if you can see what's going to go in that little lot. So I don't know whether to bring you down or I've got you on my ring light. Or if I can put you low enough that you'll see. You'll not obviously see my wee fizzog, but I mean, I'll show you a wee mistake that I made. I don't know if I mentioned it in another video. But I ordered vermiculite, and it is vermiculite, but they sent me the finest of finest of finest that's used for reptiles. 
But never mind, that's what I'm going to be topping the top off now. Let's make sure we get these right in the right order. So we're having these four here. Let me see. These four here with the purple basil. Well, the Michelite will just be fine in here because they're just a wee bit smaller than the onions. I've already soaked it with some water. And let it settle a wee bit. Just a few. Oh, and I've got some on the floor. So I'll pick them up and pop them in the wee modules. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That is the purple basil out the way we got fixed. We do have our lemon balm. I can't remember growing this. The same again. They're exactly the same size of seeds. So, a little sprinkle. And four little modules. And that's them done. I'm looking forward to these. Because we do like we're mint tea. So, I think lemon balm tea will be quite soothing on the stomach. Which will be very nice for me. And these are the peppers and I actually want these for putting in jars because they're about three, I think about three quid a packet or a jar. And you only get like three in them if you're buying them in the shops. But if I can get these up and away this year then I will be indeed very, very happy and save some money. Right, I'm trying to get five in at a time. And we're going to be overrun by pots shortly. If these all take off, which is great. Very exciting. For all my rubbish. And five. Oh. Come on. If you wet your finger, by all accounts, it's a lot easier. I've actually got six in that one, but that's great. We have the Zorza. They are indeed around about the same sort of sweet, long paper. Same again, and this at the end, I'm going to put the two in them, so that's like two, four, six, eight of, if I can find it, if I can find it, if I can find it, the big pink, big pink tomato seeds, I don't know if I've got enough, but we'll see. I was looking for good things for these last year until we got the blight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've only got eight. Eight seeds left in here as I sowed most of them last year. So I'm just going to be putting one. There's two there. I'm going to put one in each one and see how we go on. I'm just actually going to see how they do it by covering them up with some vermiculite instead of any compost. I don't want to do too much on the little tiny seeds, but I shall put a fair amount over the chilies or the pepper, should I say. Get away with how fine that is. Look at it, guys. Very, very tiny. Give them a wee shake and then I'll just pat them down so that they're touching. Touching the wet soil. And then go on with a little lid. And that is that lot out of the way, guys. 